Looks like a, perhaps a lot of whiskeys and pints last night. The so room is a little bit uh, empty today. Um, how many of you went for a jog this morning? Okay, I went for a jog, but not on purpose. I had to jog back to the hotel, so. <laughs> but all good. Good morning, everyone. This is day two of Hyperledger Global Forum. I see some new faces. So for those of you who are new, uh, welcome to the Global Forum of 2022. Um, we have an exciting, very exciting lineup today, and I'm really happy to be here. First, I want to once again thank our sponsors, um, our diamond sponsor, Accenture, and our platinum sponsor, Siemens, as well as our gold, silver, and bronze sponsors. They're going to be all up in the third floor. Please make sure during the breaks you go over, have a discussion with them, find out what they're building with Hyperledger Technologies. There's some really great uh, solutions being uh, showcased up there. We also have the community um, fair up there, so please do go look at the special interest groups and the regional chapters. Um, you'll also find our community partners uh, in that area, and uh, our community partners include Inatva and the Trust Over IP Foundation, which is a sister uh, uh, project at the Linux Foundation to Hyperledger. So once again, uh, thank you for all the sponsors, and please do go visit them. Uh, just a quick reminder about our event code of conduct. Um, all attendees, and we take this very serious, should feel comfortable. If you see anything or uh, feel anything, please go and speak to an event staff. Uh, we take these things very seriously as I said. So, and just a friendly reminder uh, for those of you who weren't here yesterday, um, please do keep your mask on. Um, and you can, of course, when you're eating and drinking, not have to wear a mask, but be respectful of others. Um, and specifically staff, because they've been told uh, to make sure that we are uh, following the guidelines. Uh, before we get started today, I want to thank the people that make this happen. It's not me. I, I'm the lucky one. I get up here and get to wave my arms around and you know smile and make everybody um, you know uh, look good, I guess. But these are the people that make us look good. So I want to thank the Hyperledger staff. Um, these are the folks. If you see them walking around, shake their hands or give them an elbow bump and thank them for all they do for the community and all they do for you and your communities as well. So thank you to the staff and. A big thank you, of course, to the LF Foundation events team. They make this event what it is. Um, so thank you for everyone and for uh, making sure you can keep me on track. <laughs> so thank you. Um, a couple of things. You know, as we think about what a community is this morning, um, and as I mentioned, we have the community fair upstairs, there's people in this room that make the Hyperledger Foundation special. And those people are is everybody in this room. So we want to make sure that we have a welcoming by regions, by different communities that we have. So please do go up to the community fair. And today I want to uh, uh, recognize a specific regional chapter that over the last year in 2022 has really uh, brought, to, brought forward what it means to be a community, to grow a community, to extend the community beyond their own region into a global perspective. Um, so the India region chapter uh, not only has a very large amount of members, they're up to close to 15,000 members within the meetup community itself, um, but they also have been contributing and we've been helping them and working with them to make sure that they continue to contribute. They have 20 plus maintainers out of that regional chapter, over 100 co contributors, um, and it's great to see that the community support um, obviously comes back into the developer community. So I want to thank um, the Indian Regional Chapter. Uh, for those of you in India that are watching the virtual live uh, stream or the recording, thank you so much. For those of you in the room, is anybody in the room this morning from the India Regional Chapter or any of our regional uh, India members? There's one right there. There's a few. All right, cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are what makes the Hyperledger Foundation uh, special. This morning we put out some news. Um, we put out some project news. We put out some member news. There's some great stories from our members uh, of products and releases that they have put out as well. Um, yesterday, during the technical steering committee, we did announce Cactus. Um, the Cactus project is merging with Weaver with the Weaver Lab, and it is going to be known as Hyperledger Cacti. What's really important to understand about this, this is uh, the first time that the Hyperledger community is doing this, is bringing together a project and a lab, is that it just points to the maturing of 
the foundation, the maturing of these projects, and really highlights that collaboration and working together uh, for uh, the greater good of the community uh, works out already. So I want to thank IBM for their contributions of the Weaver Lab that happened last June and continued throughout the year, and for Hyperledger Cactus, the main maintainers of Accenture and Fujitsu. And we're really looking forward to a great story with lots of cacti in the marketplace um, and hopefully not a lot of prickly uh, movements going forward. Another announcement that we made is Hyperledger Firefly, which is one of our projects. Uh, version 1.1 was a, a announced yesterday as well. Uh, this release introduces new features to allow developers to access both private and public chains with the tools that the enterprise needs, of course. Um, this release actually introduced something called the Web3 Gateway Mode. Um, and I recommend if you haven't been to any of the sessions, um, there's some sessions today on the agenda, and there's also a half-day workshop on the Hyperledger Firefly tomorrow over at the Gibson. Uh, please do go check that out. Um, and any, all the maintainers for Firefly in the room, any, any of the folks there, uh, hands raised, go talk to them. Uh, great community builders, and we're very happy to have Firefly in the project as well. A uh, couple other things. Um, I'm also pleased to announce that in partnership with the Linux Foundation Training, we are just launching today a new Getting Started with Self-Sovereign Identity course. Uh, this is going to be a free course. Many of you remember the Enterprise Blockchain course that we released in 2017. Over 200,000 people have been educated by that Enterprise Blockchain course. And we do update it uh, pretty much every year. We just updated it in the spring. So um, we want to make sure that when we we talk about SSI and digital identity, uh, that we are educating the market with uh, what our community has been working on. So pre-enrollment is now open, and the course is going to be available starting October 5th. 